Have you noticed that every time John Morley makes his entrance, the production team cuts to all these close-ups of the fans in the crowd looking bored out of their minds? Am I the only one who thinks that's weird? I mean, it's like they're purposely filming the most uninterested people in the entire Impact Zone. I mean, you'd think they would have caught on pretty quickly that it's probably not a good idea to do that. I don't know. Maybe it's part of his gimmick where he thinks he's a lot cooler than he actually is, or maybe they expected him to catch on instantly, and whatever X Factor they thought he had, he just didn't have it. Either way, it's not working. Anyway, uh, this is a much better show than last week. Uh, thankfully. <laughs> You know, last week's impact was not good, but there were more pros and cons this time. I really only had two main complaints. The first one, predictably, is the Nasty Boys. They had an entire segment devoted to them, which pretty much filled me with the overpowering urge to run to the bathroom and vomit uncontrollably. I, I, I don't care about this feud. I don't want to see this match. I don't want to see those two aging, repugnant fat asses, knobs and sags, hobbling around the ring, sucking up pay-per-view time, while Team 3D try like hell to carry them to something that's even remotely watchable. And if any of you guys actually want to see that, then there's something wrong with you. And yes, I stand by what I said before. If the Nasty Boys are on this pay-per-view, then I am not ordering this pay-per-view. I'm boycotting against all odds. I'm going to stream this thing, and any TNA pay-per-view in the future that has the Nasty Boys in a match instead of two people that are actually worth something. So I'll be streaming or downloading against all odds. My second complaint was the X Division title change. Now, I don't have a problem with Doug Williams winning the X title, but how this came across on TV, how TNA presented this, just completely killed the whole segment for me. I mean, you have an X Division six-man tag, way too damn short, but good while it lasted. Then the British Invasion come out, and you think, hey, maybe this is where Rob Terry's going to cash in his title shot. But then they seem to be arguing. It looks like Doug Williams might get it instead. And then they cut to a commercial. At the worst possible time. And by the time they come back from commercials, Doug Williams has been given the title shot, and the entire match has already taken place. So we come back just in time to see him hit his finisher, win the title, see Rob Terry looking pissed off, and then they go back to more commercials. We come back from those commercials, there's no replay, there's no follow-up on the title change, they don't even mention it again. It's like it never even happened. You can't do this, TNA. You can't treat title changes like this. If AJ Styles lost the world title, you sure as hell wouldn't present it like this, would you? No, of course not. You shouldn't present any title change like this for that matter because it makes the title change and the title itself look absolutely meaningless. At the very least, you needed to follow this up somehow with a post-match interview with Amazing Red being upset or Doug Williams celebrating or something. You needed something like that. If you had just taken one of the 50 Jeff Jarrett segments or Hulk Hogan segments or Eric Bischoff segments and given that time to these guys, that would have made a lot of difference. But that's not what we got, unfortunately. And stuff like this is why the X Division really doesn't mean that much these days. And yes, I have seen the poster. I, I have heard the rumors about Destination X possibly being an all X Division pay-per-view, which would be really damn cool if it happened. But considering how unimportant the X Division has been made to look lately, they're not going to do a good buy rate on that thing, no matter how good the matches are. And that is 100% their own fault because of stuff like this. As a side note, I just wanted to point out that I was dead right about Rob Terry not winning the X Division title from Fe for the Feaster Fire title shot. There was no way in hell they were going to give him that belt. Anyway, aside from those two problems, Impact was pretty decent, I thought. Uh, they had a nice hook for Against All Odds with this number one contenders tournament to set up the main event for Lockdown. It's definitely good that they're setting up Lockdown as early as possible. And as long as they can get all their ducks in a row for that pay-per-view this month then the build-up wouldn't suffer if Destination X was an All-X Division showcase, despite Destination X usually being the lockdown pre-show. Uh, some other things I liked, they're obviously teasing a few with the Motor City Machine Guns and uh, the Young Bucks slash Generation, Generation Me. I, I, I can't call them that. I'm so, I, I can't call them Generation Me. Um, you know, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm chopping at the bit to see that feud. I can't wait for it. Unfortunately, it might be a while before it happens due to Alex Shelley having some bulging discs right now. 
but I do I do think that feud will happen sooner or later. Also, um, I like the writing with Hogan and Bischoff. Um, my feelings on those guys haven't changed, but I do think the writers are doing a pretty good job of uh, with them right now. How they're both walking a pretty fine line between face and heel, and you're always wondering which side, which way they're gonna go. Um, I think it's pretty obvious that Bischoff is going to be a heel ultimately, but they're doing just enough to kind of put a hint of doubt in your mind. And that's that's being very well done, and it's, and it's a good hook to keep people tuned in. Uh, having said that, I don't think Bischoff needs as much screen time as he's been getting. And yes, Bischoff is one of the, more, one of the most interesting characters on the show right now, but dude, you, you ever hear of less is more? I mean, there's no reason for him to be getting this much screen time. It's getting to be overkill now. And finally, uh, news has come out that Impact will be moving to Mondays permanently to go head-to-head -head with Raw starting in March. Uh, TNA hasn't announced this yet officially, but uh, it looks like it's more or less a done deal. And this, to me, seems like a really risky move. I mean, yes, they got a 1.5 against Raw January 4th. That was one time, okay? That was just one time. And a big part of that was because they had the debut of Hogan and a firestorm of publicity coming with him. Now the publicity's died down and the novelty of Hogan is kind of worn off a little bit. Plus, they haven't been able to match that 1.5 rating since then, which shows that they couldn't hold on to all those new fans who tuned in. And since then, they've been doing 1.3s, which they were able to do several times last year without Hogan and company. And yes, this week they got a 1.4, their highest rating ever on Thursday. Congratulations, TNA. That's all well and good. But I really think they should just get the TV show to a place where they can at least do 1.5s consistently before they move to Mondays. Not to mention testing the waters against Raw more than once before they move there permanently. Why don't you do another Monday special and see if you can get a solid rating against Raw under normal circumstances before you totally jump the gun? I mean... What if you move to Mondays, and then the publicity dies down, you can't sustain the numbers, and the ratings start to tank? Then you're screwed. Oh, and by the way, you're also going to have to deal with Monday Night Football now, eventually. And did you, did you consider that before you made this decision? Because football could seriously kick your ass. I don't know. I mean, it really feels like they're getting ahead of themselves to me. But... You know, the ratings have never been stronger. I mean, Spike TV seems to be coughing up more money for promotion now. So, I mean, who knows? I mean, maybe this will work out. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Time will tell on this one, I guess.